If you click this video, you're probably wondering how do I change the burnt dip oil on a 2021 to 2025 F-150. The things you'll need is gear oil. I went with 75W90 because I couldn't find the 75W85. RTV gasket maker, brake cleaner or degreaser, and a half inch SAE because the metric one does not fit snug on the bolts. I also forgot to mention that you will need a Teflon thread sealant for the front diff bolt. I will also be torquing down the front diff cover to its correct spec. Take off the bolts on the front diff cover. I already went ahead and did that. If you see, there's a lot of crud and gunk, which is why I'm changing mines. So with the brake cleaner, this will clean this out. What you want to do next is get a flat razor, clean up all the edges, make sure you don't scratch any of it, as well as the front diff. I'm going to make a couple passes, clean up all this extra RTV. That way it sits nice and flush when I put on the new RTV. Go around the front diff itself, clean up the RTR, and then you should be good for the next step. All right, got it all cleaned up. Now I'm gonna take that brake cleaner or parts degreaser, spray it all around, make sure it's nice and clean. What I am gonna do is raise it up, spin the gears and keep spraying it because my front diff was flooded. There's a lot of gunk, dirt in there. So I wanna be safe and be sorry. Make sure once you get it on, you have 15 minutes to put on the cover or you have to put on another round of RTV before removing the other one. Got the RTV on. Next up, we got to put it on the front diff. And what you want to do is hand tighten all the bolts and then Torque it down. Make sure you go in a crisscross pattern as well. We'll have to wait an hour for it to harden. We can now focus on the drain bolt. I'll clean this up, then add the Teflon sealing tape. So I just added some Teflon tape to the drain bolt. I left some grooves open on the inner side. That way, if this falls in, it won't damage the gears. So this is what it should look like. Now we wait an hour for that to cure. So you need about 1.7 liters of gear oil, or you just fill it until it dribbles out of the fill plug. So once you see it spilling out, that's when it's time to put on your plug. And of course, torque spec it. I'll add the torque spec onto the screen. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you guys found it useful. I know it's a lot different changing the gear oil on a car that actually has an engine, a cab, a fender, and all that jazz. Um, but we did get this done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, found it useful. Let me know if there's anything I could have done better. That way I can help you guys more in the future. But that's all. Thank you.